Hello friends, I am Raval Yes, Assistant Professor in Civil Department, Sandipani Technical Campus, Latu. Uh, today's topic is derived expression for slope pad support and a maximum reduction of simply supported beam subjected to movement at support by Macaulay's method. Now learning outcomes. After watching this video, student will be able to understand the concept of Macaulay's method and also student will be able to find the slope and deflection of simply supported beam subjected to movement at support. Now here is simply supported beam. AB and of span L. Now this is subjected to a couple or we can say the movement at the support B. So here find slope at support. maximum deflection so our first step is to calculate the reaction so we we'll take here the sigma m a is equal to 0 so we are considering clockwise as positive and the anti clockwise are the negative so m is the clockwise so we are taking movement at here so m is a clockwise as a plus and here reactions is here rb and here is ra so this is create the anti clockwise movement that is y is minus the rb into l is equal to 0 so we got here rb is equal to m by l Then the array, so we apply here the sigma Fy conditions, summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. So vertical is vertically upward is positive and vertically downward is the negative. So here we are considering this is upward force, so that is the positive. So Ra, then this is already Rb is a positive because this is value is the positive, so plus Rb. There is no other vertical force that is by is equal to 0. So Ra plus the m by L is equal to 0. So Ra is equal to minus m by L. It means this reaction should be the downward. So this reaction is not upward, it is downward. So we are, we are changing the direction of the reactions. So this reaction is in the downward and the magnitude is the m by l and here also the m by l. Then next we know here the slope the differential equation for elastic curve that is the E i d2y by dx square is equal to the mx. So here we have to make the sections. So here is one force and there another force. Here is a only one section. Here is a only one section. Here is section 1. Now here the mx, the bending moment. Oh, generally we take it from the left side always in case of the Macaulay's method. So this force is downward. So this create the hogging bending moment. So this is now the x. So this becomes minus m by l into the x. So e i 
d2y by dx square is equal to the minus m by l 10 to the x. Now integrate this part both side. So integrate both side. So here So integration is ei dy by dx is equal to here integration minus m by l is a constant. So here is x square by 2 plus the constant of integration. So this we called as a slope equation. Now again integrate this. again integrate so here it becomes e i y is equal to this minus m by here is a 2 l into here x cube by 3 plus the c1 x plus here add the constant of integration c2 so we modify this simplify this minus m x square x cube divided by this 3 into 2 that is 6 l plus the c1 x plus the c2 now we have to apply the boundary condition to find out the c1 and c2 so apply the boundary conditions now first is when x is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 here x equal to 0 means when we are at the support at this here so here deflection is a 0 so that is y x is equal to 0 y equal to 0 so put this in this is a deflection equation this is the deflection equation so put suppose this is the equation number 2 and this is the equation number 1 so put in equation 2 so here y equal to 0 is equal to this part is the 0 then again c1 into 0 plus the c2 so c2 is equal to 0 c2 is equal to 0 then apply the second boundary condition that x is equal to the l y equal to 0 means at the second support at the second at here x equal to l means at here so again here deflection is 0 that is why y is equal to the 0 put in equation 1 equation 1 equation 2 now again here this part is 0 so 0 is equal to now here put the l minus m l cube by 6L plus the C1 into the L and the C2 is the 0. So C1 is equal to C1 into L is equal to this becomes right so here, here C1 into L is equal to this become the plus ml cube by the 6l now here this 1l get cancelled so this becomes l square again here this l and again this l cancel so this c1 is become ml by 6 
so in this way we got the c1 and the c2 the next part is the slope the so slope at the a first we calculate the slope at the a slope at a so for that we have to put here in the slope equation x is equal to 0 this is dy by dx becomes the ia so put this in equation 1 so here the slope equation we know if you want to find the slope at a so this we have to put x equal to the 0 the slope equation is minus ml into x square by 2 so here e i dy by dx is equal to minus m by l m by the 2 l m by 2 l into x square plus the c1 this is our equation so now we are put e i this is the i a is equal to minus m by the 2 l into here x equal to 0 so x is the 0 then plus the c1 so c1 is equal to ml by the 6 so e i i a is equal to ml by the 6 ml by the 6 so we can say that i a is equal to ml by 6 e. so in this way we got here the ml by 6 a now here this is a positive it means is anti clockwise is a anti clockwise then next is a slope at the b so for that now the slope at the b for that we have to put x is equal to the l so your dy by dx is become the ib the slope at the b put in equation number 1 so here this becomes e i i b is equal to this minus m by 2 l into the l square plus the m l by the 6 so here this l and this l gets the cancel out so we can see that e i i b is equal to minus m l by 2 plus m l by 6 so if we solve this value this becomes e i i b is equal to minus m l by 3 so i b is equal to minus m l by 3 e i so this minus it means is a clockwise now finally we see how the this clockwise and anti clockwise so this is a minus means is a clockwise so here we got the slope at the supports now next part is the maximum deflection so for maximum deflection the slope is the zero if you want to find the maximum deflection so for calculation of calculation of maximum deflection the slope equation slope is equal to 0 
where the slope is zero the deflection is the maximum that is why we have to equate the slope equation that equal to the zero so slope equation is the e i dy by dx is equal to minus m by the 2l into the x square plus c1 value c1 value is the ml by the 6 now here we have to equate this equation is equal to 0 it means the slope is 0 dy by dx is the 0 so minus m by 2l into the x square plus the ml by 6 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then next step is simplify this so we can say that is m x square by the twice l is equal to the ml by the 6 so this l here become the square so we can say that m x square this m gets and this m gets the cancel out this 2 is here the m becomes x square is equal to the 2 by 6 into the l square so simplify this this again becomes x square is equal to 1 by 3 l square so x is equal to l into 1 by root 3 so here this is location where the deflection is the uh, maximum so by putting this value in equation number 2 so for maximum deflection for maximum deflection put this put this in equation 2 equation number 2 so equation number 2 first we write here the equation number 2 that is the e i y is equal to minus m by 6 l into the x cube plus the ml by 6 into the x plus c2 is the 0 so here we have to put the value of x is equal to l into 1 by root 3 so e i y max this becomes the y max this becomes the y max is equal to minus m by 6 l into 1 by root 3 raised to power the 3 into the l cube plus here m by l into the 6 into one by root three into the L. So this becomes the square L L square this L cube and L gets cancelled out. So final answer is here. Final answer is if we do the calculation so this Y max that becomes is equal to zero point zero six four m l square divided by the e now this value is positive it means this deflection is the upward now how this is upward that we see in the deflected shape of the beam so this deflection is upward that is 0 0.064 into m l square by the e i now here we draw the deflected shape of the beam so if we draw here this was this is our beam and here was the moment so this moment we try to hop this shape 
like this. This will try to form this shape. That is why here this theta that I A we are measuring the anti-clockwise that is why this value I A this I A is the positive. This ML by 6 CI is a positive but this is anti-clockwise. So in case of the Macaulay method if this is anti-clockwise so that is the positive and this IB this IB is a clockwise in this way this is a clockwise that is why it is a negative and here we know the downward deflection is minus now here deflection is upward in this direction this is a delta that is why this value is the opposite so this is our final output the support slope at the support and the maximum deflection thank you